It is October 2016. I don't care how long it takes. If you really love something, you will find a way to make it happen. What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for being here today. We have so many updates because I haven't really picked up this camera in a while, but I wanna kick it off and let you all know that little Zach and little Zara, the two puppies that we rescued, have found wonderful homes and it is very, very bittersweet. I'm glad that we found homes for them, but we definitely miss them. Yes, buddy, all of the attention is back on you. Now, in the midst of all of that, I ended up snapping myself up again. I thought I would have some good karma on my side, but apparently not. So if you guys have been on the channel for a while, you would remember back in 2017, I herniated three discs in my back, which was the end of my powerlifting career. Clip notes is that I have three disc herniations, only one that is serious, but still, I mean, three herniations does not sound too good to me. So the first herniation is the L3, L4. Um, that's the small one. The big one, the big problem child here is the L4, L5, where I have a very severe disc herniation. Um, there's also some end plate spurs on all these discs. Um, I don't know what that means. Narrowing of the neural foramen. <laughs> I don't know what this stuff means, guys. I really don't. And then I also have a small herniation on the L5S1. So some pretty, uh, some pretty severe damage. Um, everyone keeps asking about surgery, guys. <sighs> I'm not worried about that. I'm, I'm not even thinking about that. I honestly believe in my mind that I can will my way to anything. I didn't have to get surgery. I went through physical therapy for about six to seven months before I could really lift again but it did ultimately get better. But last Saturday, I re-aggravated that injury and I was very let down to say the least. So because of this, I have not worked out in about a week, which I feel is a responsible decision, especially when you compare it to the first time I got injured, when the very next week, this is what I was doing. Point three of the friends heard that new school's out and let the week begin. As we embark on this journey, we gon' see till the end. Now in the middle, as I scribble 16s with a pen, the bars is all butter from working a long summer. This for every chick that ever gave me a wrong. So what I thought was being tough and pushing through ended up being a terrible decision because what probably started out as just a bulging disc ended up in those herniations and that injury got prolonged to four, five, six months when maybe it could have been cleared up within just a few weeks and it was absolutely not worth it when you combine the pain I was in, the money I was spending on physical therapy as well as the time that I was spending. It was just a very low point in my life. So when this happened, it automatically triggered thoughts back to that experience because it's the exact same thing where I could tell that it was the bulging disc in my back was leading to leg pain. So extending my leg was nearly impossible. Couldn't even put on my socks. Again, it was the same exact thing I'd already been through. So this time, rather than being an idiot, I decided to just take the time off and all I've been doing for the last week or so is stretching. And now one week later, just one week, seven days, and I'm almost back to 100%. I can still feel it a little bit, so I'm definitely not gonna push it today, but I wanna get some kind of blood flowing within my body. I'm just gonna be smart about it. And I wish this is a decision that I would have made back in 2016, because who knows what the outcome of that could have been. Now anyone that has been lifting weights for an extended amount of time understands that injuries are a part of the game. It's going to happen. You're gonna have aches and pains every now and again. And hopefully you've never experienced anything severe. But especially for those of you watching that are younger, I cannot recommend enough that when something more serious is bothering you, that you just take a step back and you don't try to push through it. And I learned this the hard way. Something that could have been cleared up maybe within a few weeks that I caused further damage to and maybe it will never, never be fully recovered because I didn't wanna get that surgery. And just a bad decision that I made earlier in life that I'm gonna have to pay the price for probably until the end of time. Now you are not going to lose your progress taking a week or two off the gym, but you will lose your progress taking six months away from the gym. I promise. So obviously I'm not gonna be doing anything that puts any pressure on my lower back, but just getting in here to move a little bit of weight 
feels so damn good. So needless to say, I haven't been feeling my best. When I can't train, my confidence is not really at an all-time high. I'm atrophied, I'm lethargic, so that's why it's even more important to dress in clothes that make me feel good about myself. You guys know if I'm going out, I am wearing cuts. These shirts fit better than any shirt I have ever found in my entire life. I wear a size medium, I'm 5'9", and I love the simplicity of them. I just like the basics. So these basic black shirts, you guys know I have one in every single color. If you can kind of see that detail right there, it is just premium quality all the way around. And the best news is they are bringing back the 15% off for you guys if you use code Travis. Now this isn't going to be forever. This is going to be kind of a limited time thing. So if you go on the website right now, I'm going to leave it linked down below. You can say 15%, especially as we move into spring and summer. They now have shorts. They have all types of sick apparel on that website. So be sure to check out Cuts. I promise you, you guys are going to absolutely love the way that it fits and looks. Just makes me feel all kinds of good about myself. What do you think about me and Cuts? I love it. Where are we headed? Lowe's. <laughs> it's like the fourth <laughs> clip. I, like, say it louder. She's pretty hungover right now, so she's not feeling too hot. But apparently we have to go buy plants. Do you guys remember like three videos ago we went to try to buy plants? What happened? We had to wait till it was warm enough. No, she bought seeds for the plants. Apparently the plants didn't grow, so now we have to buy actual plants. One of the things about being injured is I think the worst part about it is you can't even do normal life things. So we were trying to move furniture around, I couldn't do it, I couldn't barely play with Alfie. I think that's the worst part, even more so than not being able to work out, just the everyday mundane activity. Do it with love. <laughs> you gotta do it with love. That was no, love. Swoosh with love, swoosh with love. Okay, one more time, one more time. Megan is so annoyed right now because we went to Lowe's. They had no plans that she liked. Apparently, they did not meet her criteria. Um, so she's not feeling too hot. Didn't get what she wanted. And she's hungry. And she has to pee. Guys, you, you know what I'm dealing with right now. So one thing that can make cameraman happy, Chick-fil-A. And I do not blame her. We absolutely love this place. Look at that huge American flag. One of the greatest parts about Chick-fil-A other than the grilled spicy chicken sandwich. If you guys have not had it yet, it is incredible. I want in my from now on, I want banners in the jumble trunk. From now on, we the champs and the time is on. I just want to ball, hit somebody I can call. Trophies on the wall, can I really have it all? So maybe I'm just late to the party on this, but I had no idea you could get the spicy chicken sandwich. Oh my goodness gracious, I've never had it with bacon. What? Mind blown right now. I don't know about you guys, but when I don't work out, I end up eating like crap. I just don't feel motivated to do anything, to be honest with you. I just, I don't know. It's something psychological for sure. But the last two weeks, eating with all the dogs here and then the injury, it just has not been good. So we definitely got to get back on it. Give me that. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. <laughs> now, when I was younger, deadlifting as much weight as possible was one of my top priorities. But as you get older, obviously that's going to change. And now, being able to just run around with little Alfie is more important than any exercise imaginable. So some of that is just not going to be worth it. And this was a very eye-opening experience for me. But it's going to be individual. Maybe for you, you still want to get that world deadlift record or, or whatever it might be. Uh, but for me, I think I'm going to cool it a little bit. Make sure that I can uh, go try to attain anything I want. Somebody I can call. Somebody's on the 
So for dinner, we're gonna be making some wraps here, and I forgot about these. I used to eat them back in the day. These extreme wellness wraps, the macronutrients on them are pretty crazy. So for one tortilla, you're only looking at 50 calories and 15 carbs, and they're soft and delicious, so I highly recommend these to you guys. So nothing too fancy tonight. We just have a ham and cheese wrap and a big bowl of peas over here. So pretty light. I'm gonna have to make up some extra calories at the end of the night. A lot of people think when you're injured, you should decrease your calories because you're not exerting as much energy, maybe not breaking down as much muscle. But you have to think, when you're injured, you should be solely focused on recovering. So I would actually recommend going into a slight surplus. Yes, you might put on a little bit of extra body fat. You can always take that off later, but the number one priority should be recovering. Now you guys probably already know, but one of my favorite combinations of all time are waffles and then this marinata peanut butter. This is the best peanut butter on the planet. And we're just gonna drizzle it with this local honey. I'm telling you guys, one of the greatest combinations ever. I've been through enough injuries to know that you are going to experience some mental battles. And if you are injured right now, if it's something that you're going through, you're probably feeling like it is never going to get better. And you're always going to be stuck in this place. But I can assure you, you will improve. You will start to recover. It takes time. It sucks. It will affect your moods. It will prevent you from doing some of the things that you love to do. But if you can just focus on getting 1% better every single day, and that's kind of the micro goal that I had for myself in that 100 days, just get back to normal or you know whatever your time frame might be. Uh, but just start to do the right things, stretching, taking care of your body, yoga, all of the preventative things, and maybe lifting is not going to be in your immediate, uh, you know, your immediate schedule but I fell in love with walking when I was injured, but I'm sure you know everyone's gonna have something different. I would just say, keep your head up and always remember that you will never be stuck in that place of pain as long as you are doing some of those things. I feel like all my prayers have been answered Pea Science has finally released their sleeping aid. And what's great about this is it doesn't have that big of a dose of melatonin, so you don't get those weird dreams, you don't wake up feeling like you were drugged. This has been a game changer. So I stay asleep, I wake up refreshed, Highly recommend this one to you guys. You can always use Travis to save 15%. I've been taking it every day for three weeks and loving it. And you know, we might as well just end it right here for a change of scenery. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new and I look forward to talking to y'all next time.